Well, I'm back, and as you can see, look, ah, all I did was drive. There's my hair. Can't help it. Here's a question for you. Okay. I just listened in the radio while sitting here at a red light. And, uh, had a commercial come on. I don't know if you guys have heard these on the air, but they're, they're, uh, it's a Wells Fargo advertisement campaign where they're talking about, uh, you know, some person's doing something random like buying a sandwich or renting a hotel room or whatever, and the person offers them if they go, you know, if they upgrade from a basic thing to an advanced thing, the, um, the salesperson offers them free checking. And, you know, the, the, the hook being that Wells Fargo says, it seems like no matter where you go, you can get free checking anywhere. So why should that matter if you go to someplace else? You should come to Wells Fargo. We have wonderful banking experiences. Um, you know what I don't ever see in a Wells Fargo fucking commercial? I used to be a Wells Fargo uh, customer. Here's a little something for you. How come they don't say, you know, at Wells Fargo, we'll, we'll charge you for not having money? Now, I don't, I, I'm not talking about, like, I understand that there, obviously there's a penalty for overdrawing from your account. That makes sense, you know, you're spending money that you don't have, so the bank covers it. I honestly think that what they do to the average banking person, and I'm not talking about people that use banks for big money transactions. I'm talking about the everyday Joe Schmoes like you and me. My experiences with Wells Fargo are as follows. I made a transaction. I was off by a cent. Literally one cent. I'm not exaggerating. I was off by a fucking penny. Now, one cent. You think, okay, well, I'm off by one cent. They can either, you know cover the one cent and whatever, or they can deny the transaction, which would have made sense. It's, Sorry, you don't have enough money. Oh, no, 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 no. They cover it. So the 1999 that I had in my bank account that was covered with a $20 transaction, uh, not only did they cover me by a penny, but then they charged me 25 bucks for the overdraft, which puts me at negative 25 beyond the penny that they covered. And then they charged me for not having money in my account. And then they charged me for the service of charging me. So I just got charged and now my my, uh, my account is up to like negative 85 bucks because I was charged multiple times for one fucking thing. Not to mention the fact that online checking or online banking is a fucking joke. They're supposed to keep their website updated telling you how much money you have in the bank and they do that, they're supposed to do this on a daily fucking basis. You make transactions, let's say for example, you've got $300 in the bank. You've got a $150 check you just deposited, right? So you got about a three day waiting period. You write out $450 worth of bills. You got a three, uh, $300 for one bill and the $150 for another. The $300 will go through, but it won't like cash out. Then they'll charge you 150 bucks right away. You know, they, it's the transaction, the money is pending, but they charge you for the money that you don't have. And then when that bounces, you they take the, the overdraft charge out and then they charge you for uh, the overdraft thing. And then the, the $150 bill that you had written out, the $150 charge you had written is now short. So you get charged for that. So now, and then, so you're short again. So they end up getting like $200 out of you for a thing where that they had just ran the charges in a specific order so that the 150 got uh, taken out when the 150, which is in their records, it's in their motherfucking records. It's not like they don't know the money's there. It says in your account, $150 deposit pending. But no, 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 no. They'll just, the, the bill goes through um, miraculously two days early and they charge you for the money you don't have, then they charge you for the fact that you're overdrawn, then they charge you because the money that you were supposed to have is what what was covered, and that gets taken out, so now another bill is short. I fucking hate banks. They screw people. They screw you. You know, if you were like, if you had like a, a million dollars in their bank, fuck, oh, you're $50 over, eh. 
but the average person gets fucked. And that's disturbing, because it's the average people that fucking use the bank. Ugh.